Hello everyone. This is Healthy Beginnings. I hope everyone is doing well and your health is well. Um, I'm coming to you with another tutorial for a detox to detox the liver. It's a tea um, that I use. I love it. Um, I have my tea right here. And um, this is the detox tea that I use. My daughter purchased this for me. She you know I love teas. <laughs> and um, I don't know exactly where she got it from. So. And um, I really like what it's doing for me. As far as my liver and stuff. So. Uh, like you all know, I try to do and focus on whatever it is that I can focus on that's going to help me with my liver and uh, my kidneys and everything else too and all the everything. Um, you know, like I said, if you don't do your detoxing as much as you, you put different products in your body, you know you're going to, uh, well you should expect different things to happen and not be well um, because like I said we're bringing in chemicals in our house to clean wash our clothes with and all those things seep through your skin so you have to detox the body as often as you can at least twice well four times out of the month you should or every season or every um, holiday uh, especially during the holidays, you should detox and do a good cleaning uh, of the body. And that goes for your blood, for your liver, your kidney, your spleen, your gallbladder. All these things have to be um, detoxed. Um, and you're going to feel way better than you did. You're going to feel light. You're going to be able to think, concentrate, um, breathe better. Um, just a lot of things just would come with detoxing. Um, I'm going to read off to you about the tea that um, I take. Um, it serves as a diuretic. Dandelion root has a natural has a natural diuretic effect, allowing your liver to more quickly eliminate toxins. So that we want you know you want to remove the toxins that. Because it could be toxins are in your lotions because we don't know if you like, if you can't say it or whatever, you know it's something that is toxic so for your body. So it also helps strengthen the immune system, balance, balance blood, sugar levels, relieve heartburn, and soothe the digestive issues. So those are a lot of things that you know we go through as suffering with um anemia thyroid and fibroid issues so you will want to make sure you're getting all these things taken care of it's important to just uh improve the digestive aids and weight it eases con congestion of the liver it helps to purify the bladder and kidney so it also helps with the kidneys and the bladder so like I said I like to do things that's going to help me so it just, instead of just drinking tea I'm a tea drinker I like coffee too but I always had like had a desire to drink tea even with my little sister and he, we used to it's funny to me because we used to drink tea um in our little tea set, we used to have like crackers, tipsy roads, and, and water. But we called ourselves, you know, having a little tea party. But um, to me, you know, just bring that back to me because it's so, it was, you know, to me it's cute and funny. Because tipsy roads, you know, we just used to do some silly things. But, you know, we enjoyed each other's time. Okay, and I'm, this is the fourth reason to drinking. It reduces the risk of urinary tract infection. So... That in itself is really good, you know, because, you know, with having um, your thyroids and, um, throat off and fibroid issues, you are prone to more infections in your body. So to have something that's going to help and aid with, you know, I just have to take this, that, and the other, you have something that's going to 
attack multiple things in your body. So to me, that's great. What do you guys think? Okay, now to the fifth one. It contains calcium, magnesium, iron, zinc, potassium, vitamin B, and C. Good, right? It helps to purify the blood. And we all know we need that to help pure. We need pure blood purifiers. And if you don't know, you have to purify your blood as often as you can. Um, we're getting different herbs and working on some things with that to help you because that's where a lot of our sickness comes. It starts in, in, in the gut. And if you can keep your intestines clean and fear, free of fecal matter, then you have less things seeping in the blood that causes you to be sick, sick sluggish. Uh, fatigue, tired, all those things that are associated, you already have thyroid and fibroid issues, as well as constipation issues. So, like I said, I try to deal with things with one thing. I don't like taking medicine, so if I can do it in a way that I'm going to, you know, enjoy, I love enjoying drinking tea. So, yeah, why not? Ooh. And um, the seventh thing. It helps to ease bloating, good, and aches, aching joints. Who don't have aching joints, right? Okay, and this is the last one. So it was we, it total things. The reason why it was eight, and this is the last one. It helps to cure skin conditions, like like here for me, I had eczema, real bad. But I don't have it as bad. I try to defoliate my skin every night. To, to with two soaps that I use um, and an exfoliation brush so I don't really have it I wash my hair every night some say you know not to but my hair is soft and wavy so you know but it doesn't do my hair anything but um, yeah so um, to detox the body and you know you need that because I don't know about some of you all the different things that I have seen since discovering what was wrong with me because I was just wondering why I'm so tired and just I can't get out of the bed you know but to see that your body it makes you know having thyroid and fibroid issues you're bleeding heavy in, in one area then you, your thyroid is causing you to age more it's causing your, your skin to just not be firm it takes away so that's a whole nother topic right but I'm just I just love to share so please excuse me um but back to the um the detoxing uh uh tea like I said I love to share and I love to drink tea so why not drink something that's gonna help you so and please let me know what remedies um you all use for detoxing i love to hear especially talk to older people that don't mind sharing what they used to do you know because a lot say young people don't like to you know do that but if you're taking medicines today um i i really didn't like to say stuff like that but it's synthetics they you know they stop um using hers because it costs so much synthetics are easy just to come up with a bunch of chemicals and put it together you know some it, and herbs are like for like different seasons so one minute you might have this particular herb or one minute in this herb you gotta go way across the country to get this herb so it just costed them a lot of money but to do it in a synthetic way is much cheaper for the pharmaceuticals so um yeah, so I, I like to know what herbs are good for me. And now that I know and I'm I'm investing in myself and trying to do things that's going to help me um, as well as someone else. Because, man, I definitely wouldn't want nobody to feel the way that I feel. And to come out and be able to feel better. And like I said, I'm, going, I'm working on some things because... I'm trying to get my weight under control as well as build the muscle mass that I have lost during this trial and error. So I'm working to try to build the muscle mass, but you know, 
unfortunately, you know, you have to have funds for a lot of things. But I'm working on that, just getting little different things as they come in and bring them to you guys. So just let me know what you guys do, you know. Um, I, I love to share. One lady asked me to redo one of my videos. So I'm going to be redoing one of my videos by via request by um, a subscriber. So um, please just let me know what you guys do <coughs> and what you guys take um, for thyroids, fibroids, issue, constipation, kidneys, liver, spleen, gallbladder, all these things. I want to know. Is there anything that's going to help me? Trust me, I want to know. And anything that I know, I'm going to help you. So, until next time, comment, like, subscribe, please share, and let me know what you think of the video. Have a great day.